So yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode with Stafford Rangers. I thought we'd start here today on the transfers screen because we've had a couple of new faces and uh, we've also had a few players leave. So I'm going to quickly run through those. Darren Ward, you're thinking, I don't remember Darren Ward being at the club on this save at all. That's because I signed him in the summer. He was with me one day, one day, and then he announced he was retiring the next week. He was like, yeah, I know I've just signed, but I'm going to retire next Friday. Bye. And that was it. He was gone. I know he was 41, but I've signed him at this uh, in this league before at 41, and he was really good, but he must have just decided he'd had enough. And he's now a fitness coach. So the irony is he's got a rating of one for fitness. Brilliant. Matt Bailey left us in the summer. He hasn't found a new club yet. Neither, uh, no, sorry, Bradley Grayson has. He's gone to Slough now, so he's put, he's actually scored five in seven there in our sister league, the Vanarama National League North. Well, that's brilliant. I mean, he got, he got three and 11 for us. He's got five in 16 for them. So fair play to him. He's found his feet a bit there. Uh, who else have we got? Jake Charles. He is now at Stratford. So he's at uh, Dylan Parker's former club. So they've kind of swapped places there. So he's doing all right. Four in 15. That's not bad at all. Uh, Ross Horner, he's gone to Enfield, so he's picked a decent club. They're a good non-league club on there, football manager. He's only conceded one goal in three games, that's impressive. Fair play to him, fair play to him for that. I haven't actually looked at how they've been doing, so it's interesting to see. Now, these guys have been released recently because they were getting games and they were getting a bit moody about it. Uh, so, Jed Davis has left us. I like Jed, he scored good goals. The, the goals that he scored for us were bangers. But he's not found a club as yet. Neither is Theo Bailey Jones. Uh, he, he was with us for a while. It's a shame to let him go, but with the players we've got, he just wasn't getting the game time that he needed. Uh, ben Mills is under offer. He was getting Mardi, and we've actually signed another striker. Not a young striker, an older striker. But um, you know, he he was he needed to be playing. He never really got going like I thought he would for us. And lastly, Danny Shelley was getting fives in training every week, whether he played or not. So I've let him go, which is a shame, because I like Danny Shelley. And he scored those goals in the playoffs for us. Scored some key goals for us. So it's a shame, but he's moved on. So now that's all out of the way, back to the fixtures. We followed up that 2-2 draw, the comeback here at Southport, with a smacking of Chester in the FA Cup. We beat them by five goals to one, a lovely performance. I'm not going to show you all the goals in the catch-ups today, because there'd be a lot, a lot of goals to show you, I think. So it'd draw the video out too long. What a free kick that was. I forgot how decent their goal was. But uh, we played fantastically well against Chester. Put them to the sword pretty much from the off. Terrible goalkeeping there for Parker goal my days you'd be fuming wouldn't you but all in all it was a really good performance set us on the way today's live com is an fa cup first round game and we'll show you who that's against shortly mr reed there with a the goal and then sanders who's been cropping up with a few decent headers since that that game where we wouldn't score from a corner at all we started to get the, to grips with it and you can see we played the 4-4-2 for that which completely caught chester out but you might have guessed what followed it. A draw. Shocker. Uh, we carried on with the 4-4-2. I thought we'll see how it does. Fortunately, it didn't re you know, give us the dividends in the last game. Uh, but it was all right. And look at that. York have got a midfielder whose surname is York. That's magnificent. We reverted back to our 4-3-3. And we beat Gateshead by three goals to one. Sanders popping up again with a corner goal. And two from Mr. Dylan Parker, which was wonderful. Really pleased with that. And I've just clicked. I haven't shown you the new players that we've brought. I'll do it after this. It was FA Cup time yet again. And we beat Kingstonian by one goal to nil. James Weir, who has improved his attitude. Since I slated him in the last episode um, for his attitude, he has improved it. So that's been wonderful. It's been nice to see. He's booked up his ideas in training as well. That put us through to the fourth quarter qualifying round we followed that with a 1-0 win at Kettering and Ruben Reed from the penalty spot I think that was his first goal for the club if I remember correctly so that was lovely to see it was another landslide game where we should have scored more 
but we didn't. Next up, Telford came to town and actually gave us a bit of a game. They did have quite a few shots, not so many on target, but they really did go at us at times. But we were too strong for them. We beat them by two goals to nil. Parker and Kuya, who's been off on Afghan international duty a couple of times since you were last with me, with the goals in that one. Another solid performance, another win. Then this penalty from Dean Smalley won us the fourth qualifying round FA Cup game against, Sta uh, against Stafford. We are Stafford, stupid boy. Against Warrington. But look how close the game was. It was really, really close. We played them last season, didn't we? And the, I think the games in that way, I, I seem to remember them being close. I could be wrong. But they really pushed us in this game. In fact, they've probably been, apart from teams that have you know, the team that beat us, Kings Lynn, although they didn't play very well. But they, they've probably been the closest to causing us some trouble this season that anybody has been. We then met Chester in the league. We didn't quite do them as we did in the cup, but we beat them by two goals to nil. Weir and Danny Burns on the score sheet in that one. We then drew one all with Chorley. Um, it was about time we were due a draw and we got one. Next up was Dylan Parker's super sub act. I thought Kia was going to lose that there, but he did well to win it back. And look, <laughs> look at that for a tight angle. From Dylan Parker for the opening goal. And then the second one, Kiyar sent it in. Bars nodded it down and Parker poked it home. A hint of offside, but it wasn't in the end. A nice 2 0 win away at Blythe. And then last up, we drew 0 0 with Spennymore at home. Wasn't a very happy performance for me. We could have and should have absolutely slaughtered them, but we uh, we just had one of those days. We, we go through fits and starts where sometimes we can put it in, other times we, we couldn't score in a brothel, to put it bluntly. <laughs> so that leads us. To the table we are fifth in the table with 33 points south shields have had a mini meltdown they're not in a good run of form and they're starting to drop away a bit curse and ashton is still at the top of the table with chester spennymore and like i say south shields us gateshead and telford poor old needham market still struggling down the bottom uh, but all in all i'm really impressed with the season so far i've been really pleased with the way we've played <laughs> now I suppose I better show you the players that we signed. Now, this guy was actually with us uh, for the last episode, but I just completely glossed over it and cracked on with it. Young Niall Brookwell, who came from Liverpool after his release, he got sent off on his debut, so I gave him an absolute rocket of a rollicking, and he's been all right since, to be fair. Um, he took it on the chin, and he's played really well when he's been involved, so pleased with his signing. He may be old. He may be ups and downs in his little training and... and you know, uh, attribute sort of log here, but it's Andy Williams. He's just too good to be true. So if you haven't clocked it already, we are in the first round of the FA Cup at the Crown Oil Arena Rochdale. League 2 Rochdale, very decent side. Little concern we may get a, a, a repeat of the Burton result, but uh, I'm looking forward to this. they got a lot of players that I remember. Matty Doan, uh, Paul McShane, is it Paul McShane? Yeah, Paul McShane, Martin Crane is there, Ian Henderson loves a the goal, they've got some very, very good players. Uh, let's just have a quick little look at how they are in the league. They're currently managed by Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank and they're sitting 13th in League 2. So they're not doing brilliantly after their relegation, but they're not far off the playoffs really, it's quite a tight league there. Look, Burton are in there as well. Uh -oh. The team talks are done and we're ready for the off. Rochdale host Stafford Rangers. Can we cause an upset? Let me know in the comments now. Quickly, now. Do it now. We've got a free kick. I didn't really see what happened there. But here's Kuyar. Swings it in. Oh, that was close. That was close. Nearly first blood to the non-league outfit. We've played well so far. Those are normally the famous last words as Rochdale start to build from the back. But we've cut it out there. Here's James Weir. He's steer now. That's a really, really stupid ball. Can we rescue it? We can't. Not yet, anyway. It's a long ball forward. Well controlled there by Henderson. Oh, he's done Jones Griffiths, but Brockwell's won that back beautifully. What can Jones Griffiths do? If it finds where that was poor again. Why are we being drawn into thumping it over the top? Well done, Millen Bars. He's into the area. Millen Bars! What a save! What a save! That could have been a moment, that. Go on. No. Here's Brockwell, though, on the edge of the air. A terrible first touch. We have a throw in. We're going to tell Steer to ease off his tackles because he's been booked. Here's Moore. James Griffiths, Weir. Moving it around nicely. Weir and Brockwell getting in each other's way a bit there. But here's Steer into the area. Pulls it in. Dylan 
Parker's offside. He's offside. That was a lovely run, though. A really, really lovely run by Jed Steer. And that is unfortunate for us. We're coming at half time at 0 0. We've had a goal disallowed. We've had a cracking few efforts. It's not been a bad first half. So I'm just going to passionately tell them to keep it up. No more needs to be said. We've got a corner with Parker. Sends it across. It's been cleared away. Can Brockwell get there? Yes, he can. He's got nobody with him, though, and he's given the ball away terribly there to Ian Henderson. Not the sort of person. That's a beautiful ball to Arias and a good save by Sam Booth. Well done, Sam Booth. Brought Andy Williams on and I brought Lakin on. I'm hoping we can pull something out of the bag in these last few minutes of the game. It's time to get creative. I don't think they're going to, though. I think we're going to get a replay. We've actually managed to get a replay. That is fantastic stuff. Absolutely fantastic stuff. We've told them well done because that is, to get a replay is fantastic because it keeps us in the competition and it gets us a little bit extra money as well. So that's a bonus. Not great in terms of fitness and stuff. I'm going to have to move around and I'm going to have to give you a bonus video now, aren't I? Just for the Rochdale game. That would be nice for you. So what I've decided I'm going to do in the next episode, because we've not got any games between it, and we're going to go straight into that Rochdale replay, we're going to do a double live com. We're going to do Rochdale, and we're going to do Need and Market. So that's what the next episode is going to be. But for today, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I massively appreciate it. Please remember to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and drop us a comment. How about that? Did you think we'd get a replay? Did you think we'd go through? Or did you think we'd get a Burton Walloping? Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'm out of time, but I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.